Good morning everyone and welcome to Saturday afternoon. Yes it is. It's I think 1.30 or almost 2 in the afternoon. So my partner has just left for work and we had ham and cheese toasties for breakfast. I just did that on the pan. Today's agenda, I have to pretty much clean up the place. Like it's not dirty, it's just a little bit messy. I need to throw the rubbish out. I need to clean that oven um, because I really want to use it tonight. So I need to clean it up. So I put this like um, oven cleaning thing. I'll show you guys. So just under the sink, we have all our cleaning products. So this is what I used. My partner's mum gave it to us. Um, it's the Mr. Muscle Odorless Oven Cleaner. So I have pretty much just sprayed it and that's what it looks like at the moment. So I think I just need to give it a good wipe. I need to clean the trays for the oven. And I also need to do some washing, so it's going to be quite a busy day of me just cleaning. Um, but I also want to film. So today is an overcast day. It's not very sunny, but I think the lighting is going to do for what I want to do today. I think I'm going to do a trying out makeup video, and I'm also thinking about doing a giveaway. So I'm just going to go through my makeup collection as well and look for products that I haven't used and put it towards a mini giveaway. Um, I haven't reached 10,000 yet. I will be doing a bigger giveaway for that, but. Because I have moved and I've just realized how much stuff that I keep on me, I think it's a good idea to give that away to people who actually really want it and are able to use those products. Ooh, before I start cleaning, I just also wanted to show you guys stuff that I got from Daiso. I only got two things. The first thing I got was this a bathtub sponge um, scrubber thing. So um, I need this to clean the bathtub. Um, I have scrubbed the bathtub before, but I, actually I didn't scrub it. I just used one of those like um, blue um, cleansing, clean, not cleansing, cleaning cloths that you know you just use for the home. Um, that that didn't really scrub much off, so I thought I would just get something that actually is supposed to scrub things. And I also got some chopsticks. Um, I for one don't really use chopsticks that often but when I do have dumplings I do prefer having chopsticks so these ones are just um, $2.80 for the set of four and as you guys can see the design is pretty cute they've got um, basically polar bears and um, yeah they just made a bamboo so I'm just gonna soak these as well I don't think you can put these in the dishwasher but that's fine I'm just gonna do some cleaning anyway Okay, so I'm back home. That laundry detergent is expensive. It's like three dollars more, um, but I needed it. So anyway, let's just go load up the washing. <laughs> All right. So what has been happening? So I just curled my hair. I just curled the front because realistically, the rest of my hair is too short to curl. Um, yeah, I just used a fudge heat protectant before curling it, and I'm just gonna let my hair just kind of relax by itself. Um, so what I've what have I been doing? I've just been cleaning a few brushes um, that I'm gonna be using for the video. I use this um, the Beauty Exchange Daily Brush Cleaner. It's it's all right. It cleans the brushes, but I have found that it stains them. I don't know if you guys can even see, but yeah, they're just a little bit stained and. It kind of annoys me. I mean, like, I know it doesn't affect the actual application or anything, but it just annoys me that it's stained. Anyway, um, I'm going to make myself a coffee because I'm starting to have, like, a coffee headache. And if you know that, that means you're a coffee addict. Okay, so while that boils, I thought I would answer something that um, Gossip Beauty Vlogs has left on one of my previous videos. Um, actually, that's going to be really noisy. Let's move location. Ugh, all right, welcome to the bedroom. Okay, so, um, what was it again? Yes. Um, so, Gossip Beauty Vlogs asked, You were not happy with old with old roommates. I wish you made a video. Talk about um, my understanding you had trouble. Yes. I did have a couple of issues with a bunch of my housemates. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, um, I lived in a shared home that the landlord basically rented different rooms of the apartment. Um, so I had one double bedroom to myself and then obviously my partner started to stay over. And then um, the other bedroom was, I think two people could stay there. And then the other bedroom was one person. So in total though, 
should only be like four or five people at the apartment so um, I didn't really know any of these people when I moved in at first and the first batch of roommates that I had were pretty decent um, one was a girl from I think she was from the UAE I think but she was really really nice she was lovely um, she didn't really talk much she just pretty much kept to herself she just you know was kind of like homework homework didn't really go out and socialize or anything the next one was a guy from South America he was pretty cool um, Sometimes he annoyed me because he spent a lot of time in the kitchen because he liked cooking things fresh But otherwise other than that, you know, it was just like normal stuff I didn't I didn't really hang out with any of my housemates to be completely honest because again I didn't really know them. I pretty much kept to myself um, Stayed in my room only really just saw them when I went to the kitchen to the toilet You know, just kind of like hi hello and didn't really talk to them um, So the first batch of housemates were pretty decent and then um, Some of them started to move out and they were replaced by other people and that's when I started to get really annoyed and I think it was a combination of me getting frustrated that you know I was still living in a shared home um, and then I also had all these different people coming in and I didn't really have a choice or say in the matter when they started moving in um, and that really annoyed me I did have another couple move in they were from Asia and they were they were okay at first but then they started to really grind my gears because you guys have seen the kitchen right at my old place it was not big it was not big and the thing is like when it came to like dinner time we didn't really have a schedule like who cooks first or whatever um, but the thing is like when I started cooking they would all come in as well and then start preparing their own meals and I at first I didn't really mind because I knew that it was a small apartment and you know sometimes we have to do this have to do this but they honestly took so long when they would cook and I feel personally if you live in a shared home you need to be very um, conscious and very considerate in terms of like how long you cook that's just me personally because you don't know who, what the next person is going to be doing or what if they have to be somewhere and yeah that was pretty much the uh, that was pretty much a constant theme with every new housemate that I had um, so I've had a couple of changes of housemates because a lot of the people that moved in were usually backpackers or students and you know they would either go to another state or another country or they would um, you know moving with their friends after they you know met people so yeah um, there was a bunch of those and then a lot of times I had a lot of um, students that would come over that come from pretty wealthy backgrounds and um, they had no life skills like there's no problem like I personally came from I wouldn't say like really posh upbringing but I did have nannies growing up as well and there were a lot of things that I didn't know how to do like simple housework things you know things that you most people would think are very self-explanatory or very simple um, I didn't know either so you know I was very tolerant at the beginning As time progressed I just saw them as like being lazy they didn't even make any effort to really try and clean the place um, or you know just be decent and human beings when it comes to a shared home. So yeah, those are some of the housemates I've had at the old place and I'm just so happy that I'm away from there now. Um, I'm not gonna name names obviously or anything, but you, you get, you can understand my frustration with that place. I was just like so over it. But yeah, I am now here at the new place. I'm really happy. But yeah, if you guys were curious about my old housemates and just like my old place, um, hope that answers it. If you guys would like to know more about my old place, like exposing, just let, let me know. I'll definitely do more. I mean, I'm trying to vlog more for you guys anyway. All right, so I've just filmed two videos. One is trying out new drugstore makeup. The second one is an Instagram story video. I'm not gonna release it on YouTube. I think I'm just gonna chuck it on Instagram. Um, it's basically a swatch video for these new Maybelline matte lipsticks that I recently received. So I'm wearing one of the darkest ones. Um, I think it's brown blush, I think it's called. But it's really pretty, I really like it. I also like how it's gone with my roots and my hair. I just, ah, uh, girl. So good. Anyway, as you guys can see, I've got a lot of makeup on that table, so I'm just going to clean it up and then I'm gonna start dinner. Alright, so now I'm just watching a vlog. I'm watching BB's vlog on BB Back. I'm watching her pool party vlog, so she literally just posted that. Um, so, what was I doing? Oh, I scrubbed the hell out of that oven. Oh my gosh, it was just uh, back breaking work. Oh, hello. Um, such back-breaking work and um, I wasn't really sure how to clean it properly like it, the instruction said to just wipe it down with a damp sponge and I did that and then it still had that smell so I wasn't really sure what to do with it and then I just went on to Google and just looked at different ways people have cleaned their ovens like most people don't clean their ovens in a year so 
I guess that, that makes sense um, because it's so hard to do um, so I looked up on one of the websites and someone said on a forum to just turn your oven on for 10-15 minutes just so that the oven can burn off any excess chemicals that are still in there and that totally makes sense now the apartment is starting to smell of that cleaner thing so yeah I'm going to just make sure everything is every window is open hopefully it doesn't rain so I can keep the windows open and the exhaust fan is on so yeah so I think that's pretty much it I'm just gonna have some dinner go to clean things up and then going to edit another video I think that's pretty much it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoy these just one day entry vlogs hopefully you guys do if you do let me love her definitely let me know down in the comment box down below if you guys do and don't forget to like the video if you guys like the video and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video bye